Chapter 7, Covalent Bonding Welcome back to Chemistry 101. Today, we're exploring Chapter 7, Covalent Bonding. This chapter is fundamental to understanding how atoms come together to form molecules through the sharing of electrons. We'll cover the basics of chemical bonds, dive into Lewis structures, explore valence bond theory, and introduce molecular orbital theory. Let's get started. Unit 1, The Chemical Bond Introduction to Chemical Bonds Chemical bonds are the forces that hold atoms together in molecules and compounds. There are three primary types of chemical bonds. Ionic bonds, formed when electrons are transferred from one atom to another, typically between a metal and a nonmetal. This transfer creates ions, positively charged cations and negatively charged anions that are held together by electrostatic forces. Covalent bonds occur when two atoms, usually nonmetals, share electrons. This sharing allows each atom to attain a stable electron configuration, often resembling the nearest noble gas. Metallic bonds, found in metals, where electrons are free to move around in a sea of electrons shared among all the atoms in the metal lattice. This gives metals their characteristic properties like conductivity and malleability. Bond energy and bond length. Bond energy, the amount of energy required to break a bond between two atoms. The higher the bond energy, the stronger the bond. Bond length, the distance between the nuclei of two bonded atoms. Shorter bond lengths generally correspond to stronger bonds because the atoms are held together more tightly. Trends in bond energies and lengths. Single bonds have the longest bond length and the lowest bond energy. Double bonds are shorter and stronger than single bonds. Triple bonds are the shortest and strongest of all, requiring the most energy to break. Electronegativity and bond polarity. Electronegativity, a measure of how strongly an atom attracts electrons in a bond. The difference in electronegativity between two bonded atoms determines bond polarity. Bond polarity. Nonpolar covalent bonds, electrons are shared equally between atoms with similar electronegativities. Polar covalent bonds, electrons are shared unequally, leading to partial positive and negative charges on the atoms, dipoles. Predicting bond polarity. If the electronegativity difference between two atoms is small, usually less than 0.5, the bond is nonpolar covalent. If the difference is between 0.5 and 1.7, the bond is polar covalent. Differences greater than 1.7 usually result in ionic bonds. Unit 2, Lewis Model of Electron Structure Lewis dot structures Lewis dot structures are diagrams that represent the valence electrons of atoms within a molecule. They help us visualize how atoms share electrons to form covalent bonds. Steps to draw Lewis dot structures. Count the valence electrons. Add up the total number of valence electrons for all atoms in the molecule. Draw the skeleton structure. Connect the atoms with single bonds, a pair of electrons. Distribute remaining electrons. Place remaining electrons around the atoms to satisfy the octet rule. Eight electrons around each atom, except hydrogen, which needs only two. Octet rule and exceptions. Octet rule, most atoms form bonds to have eight electrons in their valence shell. Exceptions, some molecules like BF3 or SF6 don't follow the octet rule due to an odd number of electrons, expanded octets, or fewer electrons. Resonance structures. Resonance occurs when more than one valid Lewis structure can be drawn for a molecule. These structures differ only in the arrangement of electrons, not atoms. Resonance hybrid, the true structure of the molecule is a hybrid of all possible resonance structures. Formal charge, used to determine the most stable resonance structure by assigning charges to atoms in a molecule. Lewis structures for polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions are charged entities composed of several atoms bonded covalently. When drawing Lewis structures for polyatomic ions, Add or subtract electrons, adjust the total number of valence electrons to account for the charge, add electrons for negative ions, subtract for positive ions. Calculate overall charge, the sum of formal charges on all atoms should equal the charge of the ion. 
Unit 3, Valence Bond Model of Covalent Bonds Introduction to Valence Bond Theory Valence Bond Theory explains covalent bonding by describing the overlap of atomic orbitals. When two atoms come close, their atomic orbitals overlap, allowing electrons to pair and form a bond. Sigma bonds, formed by the direct overlap of orbitals along the axis connecting the two bonding nuclei. All single bonds are sigma bonds. Pi bonds, formed by the side-by-side -side overlap of orbitals, occurring in double and triple bonds along with a sigma bond. Hybridization. Hybridization is the concept of mixing atomic orbitals to form new hybrid orbitals that are equivalent in energy and shape, allowing for the formation of stronger covalent bonds. SP hybridization involves the mixing of 1s orbital and 1p orbital, forming 2sp hybrid orbitals. Found in linear molecules like BeCl2. SP superscript 2 hybridization involves mixing 1s orbital and 2p orbitals, forming 3sp superscript 2 hybrid orbitals. Found in trigonal planar molecules like BF3. SP superscript 3 hybridization involves mixing 1s orbital and 3p orbitals, forming 4sp superscript 3 hybrid orbitals. Found in tetrahedral molecules like CH4. SP superscript 3d and SP superscript 3d superscript 2 hybridization involves the mixing of 1s orbital, 3p orbitals, and 1 or 2d orbitals, forming 5 or 6 hybrid orbitals, respectively. Found in trigonal bipyramidal, e.g., PCL5, and octahedral, e.g., SF6, molecules. Molecular geometry and bond angles. The shape of a molecule is determined by the hybridization of its central atoms and the repulsion between electron pairs, VSEPR theory. Lone pairs and bond angles. Lone pairs of electrons occupy more space than bonding pairs, leading to smaller bond angles and molecules. Example, in water, H2O, the lone pairs on oxygen cause the HOH bond angle to be less than the ideal tetrahedral angle of 109.5 degrees. Unit 4, Molecular Orbital Theory Introduction to Molecular Orbital Theory Molecular Orbital, MO, theory provides an alternative view of bonding by considering molecular orbitals that extend over the entire molecule rather than being confined between individual atoms. Bonding molecular orbitals, formed when atomic orbitals combine constructively, leading to a region of increased electron density between the nuclei. Bonding MOs stabilize the molecule. Antibonding molecular orbitals, formed when atomic orbitals combine destructively, leading to a node where electron density is zero. Antibonding MOs destabilize the molecule. Molecular orbitals for diatomic molecules. Constructing MO diagrams helps visualize the bonding and antibonding interactions in diatomic molecules. Bond order indicates the strength of a bond. Calculated as, bond order equals number of electrons in bonding MOs minus number of electrons in A divided by 2. Example, in diatomic oxygen, O2, the bond order is 2, indicating a double bond. Homonuclear and heteronuclear diatomic molecules. Homonuclear diatomic molecules, molecules composed of two identical atoms, e.g., O2, N2. Their molecular orbitals are symmetric. Heteronuclear diatomic molecules, molecules composed of two different atoms, e.g., CO or HF. Their molecular orbitals reflect differences in electronegativity between the atoms. Applications of Molecular Orbital Theory MO theory is useful for predicting the magnetic properties and stability of molecules. Magnetic properties, molecules with unpaired electrons in antibonding orbitals are paramagnetic, attracted to magnetic fields. Stability, molecules with higher bond orders are generally more stable. Comparison with valence bond theory. MO theory provides a more comprehensive explanation of bonding in molecules where electron delocalization is significant, such as in conjugated systems and molecules with resonance. Conclusion Today, we explored the key concepts of covalent bonding, including the nature of chemical bonds, Lewis structures, valence bond theory, and molecular orbital theory. 
These ideas are essential for understanding how atoms bond to form molecules and how these bonds determine molecular properties. Mastering these topics will prepare you for more advanced studies in chemistry and deepen your understanding of molecular interactions. Thank you for joining today's lesson on Chapter 7, Covalent Bonding. Stay tuned for our next chapter, where we will explore another topic in chemistry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, Dr. Siegfried Howell.